Okay, half a day everyone. This is going to be a quick video tutorial on screen recording. Screen recording is going to be a resource that we can use to help deliver content to our students and families. So we're going to start with this website, Screencast-O-Matic. I'm going to log in and let me show you how this works. Once we log in, we're going to be on this main page. And on this main page, this is where we're going to manage the videos you have. Please note that Screencast-O-Matic has a free version and you can record and edit up to 15 minutes of video. You can record more, but to use their editing software, you can, you'll be limited to 15 minutes on the free version. But if it's simply to record lessons for content delivery, this will be more than enough of a resource to use. So I'm going to go here on the top right, and it shows here some buttons. This one here is to capture uh, a, sh um, a picture of your screen. This one here is to record your screen. And this one here is to open the editor. We're going to start by recording the screen. So I'm going to click on this. And it says here that the recorder is launched. And then this dotted line is where it shows which part of the screen I can start recording, right? Let's go look at some of these examples here. I'm going to move this here to put where I want it to record. I can also select the size by dragging the corners of this rectangle. If I want it to be just a recording of a small portion of the screen, or if I want it larger, I can click that, right? I also have the option here, if I just want to record just the screen, it'll just be the screen. If I want to record the webcam, right, it'll just be the webcam. Usually for our lessons, we like to select both. When I select both, I have a portion of the screen that's being recorded, and I also have a webcam of myself. So I can position this in the top right, the bottom right, the bottom left, or the top left. I like having mine on the top right. Okay, now we have here, there's a max time, right? If I want to make sure I have a time limit, I can toggle this and make sure I fall underneath a time limit here. But for this purpose, I'm not gonna put a time limit. The size, this is another way to adjust the size of your recording, right? This is the 480p size. If you want it larger, we can go with 720p, right? And then this is the 720p size, right? And then if I want it even larger, I can go full screen. I'm gonna select full screen and we're gonna work with the entire screen. This is usually the mode that we choose so that you can get the entire slideshow. We usually, traditionally in the classroom, we have like a slideshow presentation on, on Google Slides or on PowerPoint, and this is probably the most common way. You can also use this with any other program. If you want to cover uh, how to a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Docs, or if you want to show them some examples on a notepad, you can use this to record that. Anything on your screen, you can record with this software. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to record a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to go to full screen. And I'm still working on the options, right? There's this cogwheel down here, and it allows me to bring up the options, right? When I click it, it shows I can minimize it and stop, right? Over here, it shows that the narration is working. So I want to make sure that the microphone that is selected is here, right? So that it shows when I'm talking, the bar is moving. So it's showing, it's picking up my volume, right? My, my voice, okay? I'm gonna go back to settings. The computer audio setting, this is example, if I'm playing a video on, on my screen and I want the recording to include the video coming from the computer. So if there's a video you're playing, you'd wanna click on this and make sure you're, you're, uh, you're recording the sounds from the computer, not just the microphone. So because I have no audio on my PowerPoint presentation, I'm gonna leave this in no. And the only way that's getting sound is through the microphone 
on my computer. Okay, and then here, oh, uh, these are some preferences. Uh, it shows some like hotkeys, control. I, I don't really work on this one, so we're not gonna go over this one on the on the on the basic uh, tutorial. Okay, and then lastly, we have here the record button. This is where we start. Okay, so now that I have it, we're gonna click. Um, I'm gonna actually bring up my PowerPoint. So let me bring up my PowerPoint. Here is a basic PowerPoint that. I had when I was teaching math uh, a lesson on statistics, right? So I have it ready here. When I'm ready, I'm going to click record. Let's record a short video. Okay, I'll click record. There's a timer. Three, two, one. I'm going to click the slideshow. Play from start. I like giving myself a little bit of buffer. Three, two, one. Half a day. Good morning, class. We're working with statistics today. For our objective, we want students, right? Students will be able to collect and organize data. The academic language for this lesson, statistics, the science of collecting, analyzing, and organizing data to aid in making decisions. Collect data. Here's our first task. We want to create a table, chart, or graph and we're going to poll all of your classmates. Our first topic will be your favorite soda. We're going to decide if it's going to be between or we're going to decide between we're going to decide between Pepsi or Coke. So here's a simple chart that I want you to draw in your notebook and we're going to figure out from our classmates which one do they prefer? Do they like Pepsi? Or did like Coke. Okay, now that my that portion is done, I can go here and click pause. When I click pause, it shows that I was recording a minute and 20 seconds. And if that's all I need, right, then I'm done. I can click done and it will bring me to the website, right? If I want to redo, I can click the trash and it's gonna say delete everything and start over. And if you notice during the recording, I did stutter. I did kind of tangle my words together. That's okay, right? As long as we deliver the content that needs to reach our students, it's fine. Please don't spend hours and hours doing retakes and, and going 50 times just to get that picture perfect recording. Understand that delivering content in the classroom, traditionally, we have some mistakes and that's okay, right? Let's go focus on making sure the content reaches our students efficiently. So I would recommend against doing, you know, 50 retakes. If you might want to do it a couple times, sure, right? But don't bury yourself over redoing all of these screen recordings just to get that perfect recording, okay? We can do some adjustments in the editing phase to help make it a little cleaner but let's go see what that looks like. So I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to have an option here, three options, right? Um, the first one is save and upload. This one is if it's good to go, right? Just save it and it's on your desktop, right? It's on your computer. When you save it, you can already share it on an email. You can post it in a Google Classroom. You can post it on a YouTube channel, right? We can do a quick share. And on this quick share, this allows us to share it right away, right? It will post it on your YouTube channel right away, right? Uh, but because we want to go over some of the features, I'm going to first click on edit video, okay? We're going to click on edit video, and it's going to bring us, oh, it needs permission, okay? It's going to bring us to this interface here, and this is from Screencast-O-Matic, right? I can use this here to make sure my narration, right? I'm gonna check to make sure my narration's there, right? This is actually a paid version, so some of these options may not be in the free version, right? The webcam, if you don't want your face there, click it, and now the webcam's gone, right? I know this one's in the, um, in the paid version, cursor. 
it, it provides a little uh, circle around the cursor to show where, where the arrow is. So it helps with that, right? But simply for lesson delivery, these options are going to be an added um, feature, right, that could help, but not necessary. The one I want to show you today is actually cutting, right? I want to trim because in the beginning of the lesson, there was that time that uh, it wasn't showing the lesson, and I want to trim that out to make my video look a little cleaner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click play. Click the slideshow, play from start. I like giving myself a little bit of buffer. Three, two, one. Half a day. Good morning. So I'm pausing it there, and you see it looks like the first nine seconds needs to be cut. Okay, so I'm going to back it up just a little bit, right? Maybe at the eight second mark, I'm going to click cut, right? And it says drag below to select what to cut. So I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to cut this portion here. That was the, the beginning where I was setting up my video. And I'm going to click OK. And now, when I play, Off it day. Good morning, class. We're working with statistics today. For our objective, we want students. It starts where I want it to start. I'm going to go towards the end because there's this part here, right, uh, that I finished. But if I play it, you can see that I don't want this in my lesson. Coke. Okay. Now that my that portion is done, I can go here and click pause. So because I don't want that, right, I want to go back here, and it's this empty spot right here when there's no audio. I'm going to click cut, all right, and then I can drag it. Oh, let's go cancel. I want to cut, start cutting right here. And I'm going to click cut. Okay. And let's go try it again. I'll start a little bit early. I'll click play and see what it looks like at the end. They prefer. Do they like Pepsi or do they like Coke? Okay. Now th there's a little bit left. Okay. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to click cut again. And I want to make sure I cut this part here. I don't want I want a little bit of space. So I'm going to drag this here. So it's just that this like last two seconds. I click OK, and now it should be good to go. Let me click play. Prefer. Do they like Pepsi or do they like Coke? Now th oh, there's still that one second, right? So let me again. Now th let's go pause it. I'm going to cut again, and then it's just this little portion here, right there at the end. Click OK. And then I start here again just to check. I'll play. Classmates, which one do they prefer? Do they like Pepsi or do they like Coke? That works. So we have it starting where we wanted to start. We trimmed off at the end where we wanted to, to cut it off. When I'm done, I can click done. Now here's the option we have. I'm going to see this as a video now. When I say this as a video, it gives me these options. I'm going to change the file name. I want this to be statistics, right? In my folder, I can browse, and then I want this to save on my desktop. So I'll click open, it's on my desktop, All right? This one's an advanced feature, highlight cursor, right? Uh, it, it puts that nice circle around the cursor so it's easier to see. It's available there. I'm going to leave it here. But if you want that feature, it is available on the paid version, right? And the quality we have here, quality, we have lower, smaller file, higher, larger file. I actually prefer the smaller file. And the reason I choose the smaller file is because I want to be able to upload this quickly. And if it's a larger file, it kind of takes longer because the file is so much bigger. When I'm done with this, I click on Publish. 
And here it is. It's taking a few moments. And I just want this to complete 23%, 26%. When it's finished, I'll be able to find this on my desktop. Almost there. Okay, I click OK and we're done. Let me close my window. I'm gonna close my PowerPoint I'm going to bring down this window and down here, this is my video. This is my video on statistics. Off the day. Good morning, class. We're working with statistics today. For our objective, we want... Now that we have our video, we can put that on YouTube. Please check our next video on how to upload videos onto your YouTube channel so it's easier to share those videos on your Google Classroom. Thank you.